All right, so here's our first example. It says the volume of blood B in a person's uh, body varies directly as the body weight, W. The person who weighs 160 pounds is approximately five quarts of blood. Estimate the number of quarts of blood in a person who weighs 200 pounds. So the first thing we have to do in a problem like this is we need to write our equation. So let's see if we can't write our equation. So it says volume of blood B, so volume of blood B, uh, in a person's body varies directly as their weight. So we'll say W, it's going to be in the numerator because there's direct variation and then of course we have a K because all of our variation problems have a K. So that's our equation. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out what K is and use it to help us predict in the future. So it says to do this we need to know a situation where we know both B and W. So it says a person that weighs 160 pounds has approximately 5 quarts of blood. So say 5 quarts is equal to K times 160 pounds. Alright, so what we're going to do is just solve for K. So we get K is equal to, we're going to divide both sides by 160. So we would get something that looks like this, and of course we can simplify that. So we'll say it's 1 over uh, 5, oh yeah, I'm dividing by 5, so that'll be 3, and then uh, 2. So that's our constant. And this isn't the only problem that we have a constant of variation. If you think about some other equations, pi is actually a constant of variation when you're talking about the area of a circle. Uh, in, let's see, another good example. Um, and I have one right on top of my head, but I can't remember it right now. Uh, there are plenty of other things where we have a nice little constant in our problem. Uh, if you think about the area of a triangle, one half is your constant. All right, so we'll see if we can't use this. So now our concept is, is we're going to rewrite our formula with our known k. So we get 1 over 32 of b, no, w. Okay, and now we're going to do is we're going to plug this in and uh, see if we can't get our nice little answer. So what we'll do is we'll say b is equal to 1, 32, a uh, person that weighs 200 pounds. And this is, of course, quarts per pound. And we're going to multiply it by 200 pounds. So as you can see, what's going to happen is our units will cancel right here. And we're basically going to figure out what that is. So I'll use my trusty little calculator. And hopefully it'll come on. Maybe I just need to bring it back up. Sometimes it goes to sleep. So I'll say 200 and then divided by 32. So what we get is we get B is equal to 6.25. And that of course is how many quarts. So as you can see, it's kind of a three-step process. We first, we write our equation. Next, we plug in the values we know so that we can find out what K is. Then we use K to predict another scenario where we don't know how much that we have of something. So follow those three steps and you should be able to solve these problems.